By the end of this video, you're going to have all the knowledge necessary of the tools and software needed to create content for the Apple Vision Pro. Let's get started. So over the last few weeks, I've dedicated much of my free time to diving into creating content for the Apple Vision Pro. Now, I expected there to be some clear-cut guide on how to do that, some polished Apple video of two beautiful people talking without filler words about what it takes to create content for the Apple Vision Pro. But unfortunately, it didn't exist. So I made a lot of mistakes. I just came, kind of dove in head first, a lot of trial and error. So this video is a summation of everything that I've learned and all of the individual tools necessary for creating that content. So the first piece of software that you'll probably run into when exploring this space is called Reality Composer. Reality Composer is Apple's simple, straightforward UI for taking 3D models and 3D content, maybe adding some simple animation to them and entering them into an augmented reality experience directly through your device. Right now it's your iPad or iPhone, but it's not a big leap to think that they would do the same thing for the Apple Vision Pro and allow you to take the content that you built in your other devices and display it through your Apple Vision Pro. There are limited controls and limited things that you can do in this app, but if you're just looking to do something simple and straightforward and not release a big product to the App Store, Reality Composer may have everything that you need. Now, Reality Composer is totally free. You can download it from the App Store just like anything else. But if you wanna step up your game and create something a little more, more robust for the experience, that's when money starts to come into it and it comes into it through the Apple Developer Program. So the Apple Developer Program, it's actually an app that, again, that you download, but you have to pay for this app. It's $99 American for the year. What this does is it gives you access to all the tools that I'm about to talk about for creating content, not only for the Apple Vision Pro, but for the iPhone, the iPad, or any other iOS device. And this will also allow you to submit apps to the Apple ecosystem. Now, this is an application process, which is pretty easy. You just have to submit a driver's license photo or passport photo. Uh, it takes a couple days, but then you'll get it back and you'll be able to access these softwares once you get approved for that. The next thing that you need to be aware of for content creation is the Swift programming language. Swift is Apple's program language for app development in the iOS world. It's reasonably intuitive and designed for robustness and speed. So Swift is the backbone for most of the iOS applications you're used to working with. If you are new to Swift, I highly recommend checking out the Swift Playgrounds app. It's a handy little app filled with little tutorials and walkthroughs. I found them to be very useful and helped me get up to speed very quickly on how to program in Swift. All right, so we're talking about programming Swift. That is done through a piece of software called Xcode. Xcode is Apple's integrated development environment or IDE, uh, again, for all the Mac OS systems, even for the Apple Watch. Basically, this is a software where you write, compile, and test your Swift code before releasing it to the App Store. Again, it's a super simple Apple -E UI and allows you to plug in other tools for testing like the Device Simulator or Reality Composer Pro. Wait, Reality Composer Pro, is this the same as Reality Composer that you talked about on my iPad? No, it's not. It's a the next level up. So Reality Composer Pro looks similar to Reality Composer, but it is more robust. It is accessible through Xcode and offers advanced features for building more complex augmented reality, immersive reality, any type of spatial experience based on your customized Swift code. Now, the other question, if you're used to 3D rendering, is what renderer is this all using? It's actually using Apple's core renderer, which is called Metal. Metal is designed to optimize the performance of a GPU, a graphics processor, inside an Apple device. It is instrumental in rendering high-quality 3D content, ensuring smooth and efficient graphics performance in spatial applications. Two other tools that could help you out in this process are Reality Converter and USDZ Tools. So quick step back, all the models and everything that you're bringing into the Apple ecosystem for a spatial experience need to be in a file type known as USDZ. So a USDZ file is a universal scene descriptor file, a USD file, little history on that. 
So for years, 3D applications created file types that were unique to those applications. Maya had their file type, Blender had theirs, Lightwave had theirs, Cinema 4D had theirs, and none of them worked well together. So to pass components from one 3D application to another, you would have to export things in parts, or there was like FBX and OBJ that wouldn't contain all the information necessary to do that. So Apple, Pixar, other companies got together and they developed this file type called USD, which was meant to be a universal file type to be used in pretty much any 3D application. So Apple has chosen this file type to be read into their system. Now there's the Z at the end of it. Z is zipped. And this is a compressed version of a USD file that's a little bit lighter and works much better, again, in spatial experiences or for web-based applications. Their Reality Converter app allows developers to convert, view, and customize other 3D file types into a USDZ on a Mac. The USDZ tools provides functionalities for converting, inspecting, and validating your USD files, ensuring that they are ready for spatial deployment. Another option for getting models is Object Capture. Object Capture is Apple's photogrammetry solution that allows you to take pictures or scans of a real world object with your phone and convert those into USDZ files that can be used in your spatial experiences. So the last application on our list is the Simulator. Simulator is Apple's way of testing your app on multiple Apple devices. So this will allow you to test it on current and old iPhones, current and old iPads, the Apple Vision Pro, so that you can see how your app may be perceived on different devices. Because although you may be developing something for the Apple Vision Pro, you can also open it up to more users who just want to have a spatial experience on their iPhone. So that's it. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of the tools and workflows necessary for creating content for the Apple Vision Pro. I will be diving in more specifically going forward, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will be posting all of my discoveries and different projects that I create using this experience as I dive deeper into each individual app and the overall experience of creating content for the Apple Vision Pro, and I hope to see you there.